And we're going to start by, by learning um, how to record time using the FOB device. So we've, we've learned the mobile app and the landline. Let's move on to the FOB. If neither of those previous options work for your situation, you can certainly use the ORPTC DCI FOB device to ensure your time entries are EVV compliant. A FOB is a small device secured in the home of the consumer. Now, FOBs are not smart devices and do not have any GPS functionality. Using a FOB for time entry requires a paper timesheet and access to the ORPTC DCI web portal. You can see a picture of your FOB on your screen. It looks kind of like a little USB drive. To use an ORPTC DCI FOB, at the beginning of your shift, you will locate the FOB that's in a fixed location in the consumer's home. Press the red button on the FOB at the start of your shift and write down the six digit code that's displayed along with your start time on a paper timesheet. At the end of your shift, Go back to the FOB and press the power button on the FOB to display another code. Write down that six digit code displayed along with your end time on a paper timesheet. This paper timesheet is used each day for the same pay period for which services are being provided. The agency will provide paper timesheets to track FOB entries upon request. You can also do this on a scrap sheet of paper, but record your FOB token at at the clock in and clock out uh, of each shift on this timesheet. Once you have access to a device with the internet connection in the web browser, you may need to enter your EVV compliant entries using the ORPTC DCI web portal. Just a quick note, you will have the same grace period to submit your time entries to the agency as you did with the paper voucher process to ensure timely payment. See the HCW payroll calendar for more details. All right, now let's talk about how to enter in a FOB entry into the DCI web portal. So to add an entry to the ORPTC DCI web portal, click Add Entry to the top right of the homepage. Then you'll complete the form in the following way. The account type, you will select hourly where it says client name, you'll start typing the consumer's name. And once you have three letters, you can then select the name from underneath. Select the correct service code from the dropdown, and then select the date that you worked, your service date. Select your check-in and check-out times, which is simply your clock-in and clock-out time. So this is the start and end of your shift. To enter a FOB entry, select secure FOB as the EVV method. That will bring up the start token and end token, which is where you will enter that start and end token from the FOB when you recorded that at the time of clock in and out. You'll then add your notes, select any provider tasks that you completed, and then click save in the bottom right corner. If you entered an incorrect FOB token, an error message will be displayed asking you if you wish to continue. To correct the FOB token, select no here, and it'll bring you back to, and give you a chance to change the FOB token you entered. If you are unable to correct the FOB token, from here, simply click yes. And then this will go in as a non-EVV compliant entry. 